that Robert Redford. You ever see the movie Sneakers? Yes. Yeah, it was good. That's a great movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had Dan Aykroyd, whose career I kind of envy. Yes, at the same time, writer, we were confusing why it wasn't bigger. Really, I think it, I think he should have been a, blues. Well, he had his time, like he, had, you know, but he was good in everything. He was good in everything. Yeah, he's gone through except oh. for Blues Brothers 2000. <laughs> I didn't see, which I didn't see. Right. Awful. Okay, very good. Awful. Isn't it odd that he's he had stretches of time where he didn't seem to be doing much uh, that I was aware of, at least. You know, he he did the eight comedies in the 80s. He obviously was on SNL in the 70s. And then in the 90s, he sort of became more of a serious actor, right? He did more of a serious actor. But then I didn't yeah. see him for a long time, and I don't know. What's he up to, OJ? I think, I, the last thing I remember, I, and please, uh, Garen, look this up. Is he involved with some vodka company? First yes. of all, yes, yes. he is. Do you also do something like the Hard Rock? He bought the House of Blues. The House of Blues, yes, that's thank that's you. Right. So he can, okay, so, so he's keeping busy. this entrepreneur, yeah, okay. you know, business that's guy. That's probably keeping him. Yeah, so, yeah, there but, wasn't a venue they couldn't make a, a, a full of sightline problems. <laughs> <laughs> The House of Blues. Every House of Blues was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Every one of them had was just awful. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, has it got the nine hundred pillars? Done. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy it. <laughs> but it's, sir, there's a pole right in the middle of the dance floor. Now nah, we'll make it work. <laughs> and it's just people like, <laughs> please lean to your right and yeah. welcome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, Crystal Head Vodka is what his. He's a big alien dude. Also. He's, oh, yeah. so he, he seriously has, believes in a lot of wacky stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. He had a show for a while where oh, he, he does. Yeah. He hosted strange like phenomena a, or something. Alien. Like that. And yeah, it does show yeah. up in that Ghostbusters, the most recent. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. It's, it's okay it's now. Been right? long enough. It's in the it's yeah. been like, it's like, like I didn't trailer, see it, and that's it's in the trailer. It's in the trailer. I know that like he wrote Ghostbusters, the first one, and he also believes in ghosts, and that was he. He wrote it, I think, from what I can tell, partly wanting to assert to the public that this is actually going to happen <laughs> and i don't know and and like the, the more time has passed the more he vo- vocal he's been about how we oh, should no. we should not be laughing at the ghost we, we, like, he's doubling down yeah he's like this what? is not a comedy this was a documentary <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to warn this, you yes don't what? open the sewers why or should we not laugh at ghosts nothing uh, has happened with ghosts <laughs> nothing yeah, he's, he's, nothing has happened with ghosts because he's he's because he's Trump? been working i mean that, that uh, he's keeping them oh, he's bay. keeping the ghosts at bay but he wants you to know, take it seriously. Don't, I'll don't do, fall asleep. I'll, I'll do my best, Dan. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for keeping him at bay, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to see his, his house and meet his architect. Oh, boy. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Well, because, look, all those scripts are so, like, based on architecture and, like, yeah. structures with special metal and all that kind of stuff. Like, if he believes that stuff. Right. Then like, what where is does his, he live? Where yeah. does he right. live? What kind of house is he in? What yeah. does he What does he do? What does he do? What Ruth does he Buzzy. do? Where is that Ruth Buzzy picture photograph, by the way? Um, Where did that go? Got to take a, a fan has asked us to take a photograph of that. So that's something you outgrow, right? You Ruth Buzzy? Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. She's the legend. <laughs> but, but you do outgrow. Most of us outgrow the, the Fear. belief in ghosts, yes. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was there a time, Jimmy, when you, or I, even I as a kid? I don't believe there was. A hundred percent skeptic, even as a child. I don't know about skeptic as much as just like, I, it, it, you know, I knew Casper. So I knew, I, to me, it was just, they're not real. There's no Perfect. such thing as a ghost. I see. That said, I, I saw a ghost car once and I stand by it. I saw Okay, a, there you go. As I was driving down what is known to be a haunted road, I saw a car drive from uh, from my right uh, across two lanes to a left. Um, and then when I was like, holy shit, what was that right in front of me? I look and both uh, both uh, uh, had chains Hedge. across them. There were chains across these entryways into the uh, parks. And so could not have physically happened. It could, it could, not, it have, could not, not have physically, physically happened. Physically and I will, and I was not, this, this, yes. this is pre-drinking Jimmy. Sure, sure, sure. So it wasn't like, oh, you're drunk, you saw something. No, this was sober Jimmy driving, going, holy shit, what was that? So I stand by ghost, uh, ghost car. Ghost car is, okay. So I grew up and uh, we would spend summers in Spain in a small town my dad grew up in. And it was, it was a place where people would tell things. Things that happened to them that were so terrifying that uh, I started to wonder, well, is there some afterlife? Is there some spiritual thing? And one of them was my aunt was talking about how one, her mother passed away. Her mother passed away and was buried. And then the aunt had a dream said, that said, get the rat off me, get the rat off oh, me. Ugh. She goes to visit her mother's grave and a giant rat comes out of it. No I like, way. Oh, I believe it's no way, but that scared the crap out of me when I was seven. I'm like, ah, you know. So. It scared the crap out of me now. <laughs> yeah, and so. I'm 37. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have an uncle who's a prankster and uh, we were telling ghost stories and it took him 45 minutes to do this. He, um, we said goodnight, everything. He snuck into my room and crawled under the bed and then whipped his hand around what? to Your grab child? me. I was I was older. I was fourteen or something. I don't care. And he grabbed me, and I I, I broke uh, new ground in terms of screaming. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I went up several octaves. Of course like you that. did. And then of course he's laughing so hard he can't move. And I'm like, yeah. you know, right? So, yeah, yeah. So I I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Did you ever do? To hear the whole conversation. Subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts or visit nevernotfunny.com.